Hello and welcome everybody to yet another exciting episode of Carlin Brothers Box Breakers, or as we like to call it, CBQ. Or as I like to call it, CBQ. Well, that was pretty neat, actually. Thanks. <laughs> trying to trying to write some jingles in spare time. <laughs> It's like, now I know how you spend your showers, just being yeah. like, yeah. Beth hates it. <laughs> As ever, let's take a quick look at the rules. Jay and I will be opening a booster pack from the latest collection. Any rare cards, cards that feature a star, score points. Scoring is very simple. We head on over to the current price list on TCG Player and determine your rare card or card's value. That value is rounded up to the nearest whole number. But the fun doesn't stop there. Each week we will also spin the wheel of energy to determine this episode's type advantage. If the energy in your pack matches the type advantage, then your entire pack gets a two times multiplier. And you get an additional point for each mon of that type in your pack. Lastly, there are also three randomly chosen common chase cards that are worth one additional point each. So if your energy card matches the type advantage, you pull two randomly chosen common chase cards and your rare card is worth $3.75, that will be rounded up to four plus two points for the common chase cards gives you six points times two for the energy and your final score is 12. And now as ever, it is time for the Wheel of Energy. Jay, would you give me the honor? You give me the honor. Give it a good clunk. Let's see, last week we had raucous pummeling. What are we gonna land on this week? Will we need to change the skateboards? We're about we won't. Okay, we're back on Rock Rock Public Public again. again, which is great because we are, for today's randomly chosen common chase cards, we have got Mawile, Houndor, and Toad School. So Toad School is also Rock is Pummeling type, meaning that it'll be worth double points, basically. Okay, good to know, good to know. Well, know. I am super excited. Uh, as an update from last week, I feel like the team score is something to keep an eye on, With Team Water <laughs> has a commanding lead right now with 49 points what? in first place. Place. Fire on their heels a little bit with 41 points, and then both Grass and Electric tied in last place with 21 points. Uh, just as a reminder, Grass has been like our dynasty oh, team. Oh, how the so. mighty have fallen I know, into so we, a tie. Yes. <laughs> so what? So. Have to keep an eye on them today. Otherwise, in first place overall, we have Aaron B with 18 points from Team Fire. Emerald Phoenix is in quality eighth place for Team Fire as well with six points. And Games Bun, we've been able to calculate out, is currently holding the Big Steve Award yes. with five points, but the total rare card value is based off of a single Entei rare card, which is only worth 24 cents. Right, so, so yeah, if someone wants to get into Big Steve, they need to get five points with less than 24 cents worth of rare card value. Total rare card value. So yeah. that is what we'll be on the look lookout for today as we crack into our first pack, which is going to be to Rozzy the King. Rozzy the King. Better known as Rozzy Thacking. Or possibly. Yeah, why not? Well, I wouldn't, you know, used to say how they prefer to be, what, what he prefers to be called. Uh, let's see, I, you know, how do kings like to be addressed? <laughs> Hello, Mr. Thacking. My lord. My, yeah. Lord Thacking. Mm -hmm. Here we go, we have the Eyeball Energy Melted Scyther. Zigzagoon Palpatone, what is this? What is that? Why is it upside down? Could it be? I don't know. That okay. was weird. All right, that was weird. <laughs> that was. That's like a. Is that? Hmm? Do we need a ruling? Uh, I'm sorry, this hasn't happened before. That, that was weird. Okay, Pokemon Link, Dark Tricks, the Float Soul, and the Toxtricity. So just a single point. The question is, is that single point worth less than 14 cents? Which is the number to tie for last place. It is Ever worth exactly 14 cents. Wow. Okay, so indeed. last week we had all those clay dolls that were worth 14 cents. This time we have a Toxtricity, also worth 14, but that is a tie for last place. So we are going to have to figure something out for what we, we're going to do with the We are. This has never. This has never been something that's come up before. Like we've always been able to use total rare card value <laughs> to sort of like break it down. But with just one single pack and with all of the lowest value rare cards in the set all being worth 14 cents, it's just like, what do we do? What do we do? What do we do? I don't know, but uh, that's for a future us to figure out. Right now, we're going to move on to Reagan, who has been with us since season five. They are coming off of a 14 point season on our last single pack season. Okay, okay, let's take a look here. I'm curious if we'll have any other flipped cards in this box. Like how, know. how far is it, one. how deep does how it does go? How does that happen? I don't even know. I just imagine the assembly line just like, Something just flipped over, yeah, just, just I guess. Flipped over. So we got the Vulpix, the Boon Suite, the Froki, the Dorumuaka. So much fire the in this Nine one. The Ninetales, the Poltergeist. I don't, I don't feel like I've seen many of those. Yeah. The Toadstool. Score. 
It will score. Oh, and look, critical hit. Oh, on the Volpix, look at that. Yes, we got a critical hit. The uh, Arbolivo will not score, but the Toga oh, Kiss. Oh, the Toga uh, Kiss is back. So it, th this is Toad Scroll and not Toad School, which right. is the randomly chosen combat chase card. It is, however, Rockus Public. So one, two times two for the critical hit will be four Gonna points. Be four for Raygon. Here we go, Raygon Targaryen. Most likely, Probably. yes, yes, indeed. There we go. All right, well, enjoy the Toga Kiss. Shazwam. Next Shazwam. up looks like our first rookie of the day. It is not Lauren. This is a funny one because there are a comical number of Laurens inside of this set. We have Master yes. Lauren, another Lauren, Lauren, Lauren B. I think, was there just Lauren somewhere in there as well? There's Master Lauren. Oh, I said Master oh, Lauren. you said yeah, Master yeah, Lauren. Yeah, yeah. So there might be. This, uh, is, this is now not Lauren. All right, this not Lauren shares a birthday with James and Oliver Phelps, the Weasley twins. Hey, how about that? Congratulations. Fun fact. Fun fact. They seem like such delightful lads from literally everything I've seen. Morning. <laughs> If you know, you know. If you know, you know. And if not, Ethan will play the clip right now. Thanks. Such an awkward moment. It is. It is indeed. <laughs> anyway, fire energy, so no type advantages. We've got Polinar, Charcadet, Melton, Scyther. So many Scythers today. The Trevenant, the Belly Bolt, the Flamigo, Litwick. Oh! 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 It's a double hit! Whoa, the Char the Golden Charizard. I can already tell you, this is the second most valuable set. Only two. It's more rare ver the more rare version of itself. And on top of that, you have a full art ice cube. What is happening for? Like, I don't, I mean, not Lauren is going to the Olive Garden. Almost no doubt. Almost no doubt. Number 228 on the set. So that Charizard alone is worth 23.44. So wow. 24 points. We have a new. Points. Okay. So new leader. We have a new leader. And then what is the, the number for the ice cube? The ice cube is. Is 210. 210 is a dollar 19 for the ice cube, so a little less commanding. But 26 points total. Oh my wow. goodness. Wow, my goodness, gracious. not Lauren. That is amazing. Look at that chart. Look at that golden Charizard. I love it. I love it. That is really, really cool. Well done. Very playable as well if you're, you know, if you're into it. <sighs> That's amazing. That's Otherwise, amazing. you know, you should take this with you when you go to the Olive Garden. You're like, you know what? You know what's buying this meal? This guy, this guy right here. This guy right here. Or at least, you know, $10. $10 worth. worth right. Yeah. 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 But either which way, I mean, that'll get you something. That'll get you something. There you go. All right. Next up, uh, our next rookie who is wishing they went first. It is Vinyacor. Uh, this is his first season, obviously, as a rookie. Collects Pikachu and Pika clone cards. Okay. Okay. I don't know if they're. Are there any in this set? I don't feel like I've yeah, seen. Is there a Pikachu? It? Have we seen it? I don't know. And then they what? are for Team Electric as well, which is kind of adorable. That is, yeah, that, that seems intentional. That. Oh, but B BT Dubs, I'm so sorry to jump back to, to not Lauren while it's my new current uh, favorite member, Vinya Course, uh, term to go. But Team Water, Team who's Water. already coming into the day in the lead, just took a bigger a tidal wave of a lead. Yeah, wow, yes, a tidal wave Thank because you. of the waves, the, because yeah, of the because water. The water. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. All right, let's see what we can do for Vinyacor here. We got the Wooper, we got the Fan Top, the Vulpix, the Boon Suite. I'm sorry, the Lycan Rock will score the Probo Bass. Pro Probo Pass. Probo Pass. There we go. The Vengeful Punch, the Little Pup, the Froki, and the, the Dark Ray. Oh, man, man. Vinicor wishes he had gone first. He's coming home with just two points instead. Just, just two points. Man. Uh, no How Pikachu clones, I'm afraid. That's too bad. That's too bad. But either which way, welcome to the party. And, uh, you know, there's nothing you can do when somebody pulls a, a super rare Charizard in a know. rookie debut. It's hard so to do. It's, it's just, hard to, hard it's to a, match. It's a tough act to follow. Yep. All right. Next up, though, we have Ariel Stormborn. <sighs> so as you can see, Eevee's like rocking it back here. And it says right here that Eevee's your favorite Pokemon. So, you well, know. Well, you know what? Ariel Stormborn's my favorite person right now. Right. So. Yeah. So there you go. A lot of favorites floating around. Lot Probably lot there's going to be a Scyther in here if maybe, I had to guess. Maybe a Fero randomly that accidentally that. got inserted. <laughs> because <laughs> I'm pretty sure there's not one otherwise. Right? Uh, yeah, that, yeah. I don't think there's one. There haven't been a lot of Firo cards since we've been doing this game, have there? So, but you know what? We have Firo on the mat. Now. We do. Now Firo yeah. gets all the representation it deserves. See ya. Firo to hero! Just like that. Barboach, Lechon, Lunatone, Serena, Lycanroc will score Dratini. Well, ooh, the Houndor! Oh. Which actually is a chase card. Oh, right? wow! Okay, yeah. yes, because so that's that, the same. You're right. Yeah, yep. so, so that counts it. the way we do it. Yep. Uh, that's pretty cool. That is pretty so cool. So it's going to be one, two... Uh, well, we're getting an extra point for whatever it is, and three. Yeah, so yes. what is it? Yeah. So at least four plus whatever it is, right? Yes. Okay, so let's see. Number 204 on the set is $1.71, so two points. So two 
plus whatever it is. So three, four, five, six. Yes, six, six, six points. I got, I got the same thing. Yes, for Ariel Stormborn. Look at that awesome Houndor card too. I love that. Ah, there we go. And the Toga Kiss, which has already showed up like twice today. Embarrassing. Next up is Sierra Cawthorn. All right, Sierra possibly was on my uh, my soccer team as a young lad. Yes, yes, you know? probably. Do you remember Sierra? I do could remember Sierra. Kick the Sierra. ball like a clear mile. Yes, yeah, she was she was strong on a cloudy day. Okay. All right, so we got an eyeball energy. We got the surskit, the dynamo, the spoink, which is truly one of my favorite things to say ever. <laughs> spoink, spoink, Gubju, Sol Rock, the Doug trio will, will score. score. The the Houndstone, the Belly Bolt will not. The Toga Demaro Toga Demaro will not. Oh, the, oh, the Demaro, and it's a Rockus Pumbling, so that'll score an extra point. Yeah, there we go. So let's see, number two thirteen on the set. We'll take a peek. Only eight. I thought I thought that I recognized that there aren't many EX cards that are worth less than a dollar, but this is one of this them. This is one. This the is full art. This set makes no sense. Remember yeah. the Pidgeot. I I remember it. Yeah. I remember it well. So 83 cents of just a single, well, a point plus a point. So right. two, three, three total for, for Sierra Cawthorn. possible former soccer player. Yeah. In Sierra. case you guys are wondering, Toga Tomorrow is actually a Pikachu clone. So hey, there we go. If okay. only we'd pulled it I know. earlier. I know. I know. Bam. There you are. Well, enjoy either which way. Never, never a bad day to get a full art card. Okay. This is like one of those things where I go back to like opening cards at the back of mom's minivan. Yeah. And it's like, if you pulled it, like you're not thinking about the value. You're just like, it's shiny. I know, it's right? Cool. When you're like it's a little pretty. kid. Like, yeah. Like, it means, yeah, it means nothing. Yeah. If I pulled that Glamour, like that, that was my whole weekend right there. That was it. My new yes. favorite Pokemon, probably. I'm going to go home and call my friends. I'm going to be like, you're not going to believe what I pulled. Yeah. Glamour. Yeah. Glamour. Yeah. 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 That's yeah. right. All shiny. And it's yeah. like really scratchy if you like run your fingers across yeah, it. Yeah. Watch like, this. Listen. <laughs> Can you hear that over the phone? Okay, I'll scratch harder. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, next up we've got Mark Mark. Mark Mark! Who, I gotta tell you, I can't believe I don't remember their name because this is their third season. Goodness gracious, Mark Mark. Yes. Well, I remember their name because they are, of course, my favorite. Yeah, right, right, right. Let's see, let's see. Actually, there's a fun fact about how they got their name. It's a fun fact, a story about a guy being uh, chased by a ghost through a graveyard. A dog has a speech impediment. Uh, so instead of Bark Bark, he says Mark Mark. Well, oh, that's hilarious. Wow, okay. how about that? Well, well, anyway, we, welcome well, Mark Mark. Yes, from, from Team Grass, and gives us salad energy. Was this fact on here before? There's no way I wouldn't remember this. It does seem it does seem unlikely. Maybe okay. Kat just added it. Maybe, it's maybe it's a say. brand new fact. Anyway, yeah. Mark Mark, let's see how they do. We got the Froakie. We got the Darumaka. Darumaka. <laughs> I'm struggling with that one. The Service Kit, the Tyler It's Tylenol. those Spoink. <laughs> it's, it really isn't. It's not. <laughs> the Espeon would have been good last week. Oh, the last week, this would have been great. The Charmander will not score. Oh! Oh, the better ice cube. Dang, I am obsessed uh -oh. with that. And, and the, the green in. Look oh, at that. Man. I love that. That is so cool. It I is. love the pastel blue in the back. Mm -hmm. It's just so pretty in the contrast. Like, oh, truly glorious. And just the fact that he's got an ice cube for a face. What is the, what is the, uh, the number on that one for me that to check? That is going to be 222. 222. 22. 22. All right, let's see. 222 is going to be worth just a dollar 88 for no. Ice Cube. I know, I know, it's not what you want to see. So two points for that one, and then the greed is going to be 179. Let's see if anybody had a J on on their bingo card. Let's see. So this was two points? Yes. And then the Greedent is another one. Oh, I can't believe it. 84 cents. So just just three points out of this? Three points. That, that is the most is what you hate to see remarkably right there. disappointing three points I've ever seen. That because is, if this was my pack, I'd be stoked. I know. I mean, they even got like a reverse hollow Charmander in I there. I know. That's yeah, pretty cool too. Looking, looking Listen, so cool. Mark Mark has opened five packs in the history of this game, and four of them have been three points. Wow. And the other one was four. Oh so my Mark, gosh. Mark Mark, <laughs> nothing if not consistent. Always hitting the Mark Mark. Oh, yes. You, know? you should write that on their card. Yeah, okay. I they will. always hit the Mark they Mark. They always hit the Mark Mark. Okay. <laughs> All right. All right, next up we have Power Couple, Jackinator and Dakinator. Jack and Dak. Let's go, Jack and Dak indeed. They're coming off of a disappointing two point season, just one point per player. Wow. You know? Barely enough to go around. Barely enough to go around. They're just like, they're starving for points. And this is after a couple of good seasons before that, where they were at 29, 15. Ugh, okay. They were maybe, doing good. Maybe today's the day. Metal Energy, could it be the day? Zig Zigging, Palpatine, Squabbit. 
Wiglet, Bronzong, Beartick, Charmeleon, Sir, Skid, Houndor will score, and Palafin will score. I'm afraid today is not the day for Jackinator and Dakinator. Just, they have just two more points for the rest of the month to go around. Goodness gracious. You know, it's what okay. are they going to do? It's okay. I have a strong feeling that next season, on our, on our three-month season, they will come in in fine form. Okay. All right. Well, we'll see, Ben. Prediction. I'm sure they're going to hold you to that. I bet so. I bet so. Be prepared for a strongly worded letter if that doesn't come true wow. from them. Wow. Yeah. Bring it on. All right. Next up is our third rookie of the day, Sean. Sean. <laughs> Welcome to the game. Let's see. After seven years of working at his local minor league baseball team, gets to throw the ceremonial first pitch. Whoa! Well, it's about time. That's I've been saying it for years. I've been me too. Like seven. seven. I thought. I thought from the very beginning. I was like, Sean needs to be throwing a first pitch. He needs to get out there. Yeah. Send we need him to out see there. it. We need to see it. We are not out. utilizing. Uh, his full potential at the moment. Okay, so we have lightning bolt energy. Look at that drill burn. Drill have, we, burn. Is that, have we pulled another one? We most certainly have. Dude, I love There's it. No way. The Caspa Kid, the Snubble, the Bronzor, the Diggers B, they got the Camera Up, the Claude Sire, the Magnemite will not score, the Phantom will not score, and the, the Palafin. Is that back to back Palafins? Oh, disappointing. Oh, man. Three well, points. But it's you know, no Golden Charizard, so I'm afraid you're not heading to the Isle of Garden, Sean. Unfortunately. But, you know, you are heading to the Pitcher's Mound. Congratulations. That's pretty impressive too. That's yeah. pretty but when you when you possibly go for a post game celebration dinner at the Olive Garden, you can let them know that you could have almost had ten dollars off your meal. That's right. Yes. Exactly. All right. Uh, next up, we have Bay Positive with no space. I almost got another card out. It's my turn to open. It is your turn to open. Yes, it is. You need to pull cards out of this one, not out of that one. That's right. Yeah. Ah. You don't want to open I, these. I can see where the confusion comes from. Mm -hmm. Right now, my daughter Addison doesn't know the difference between breaking a stick and opening a stick, and so she thinks breaking it is opening it. Rock is pummeling. Rock is two pummeling. X multiplier. I don't know why I held up both, but but two X. There you are. Maybe it's maybe it's predictive. Maybe it's going to be a four times. Could be. Could be. Tad bulb. Glimmit will score. Swablu on the Otters. The Probo Pass. Ventral Punch. Skarmory. No. Oh my for uh, the Probo Pass and the Nose Pass. The Cub Chew and the Gita. Man, so just three points for Bay Positive No Space. Mm, well, six because of the multiplier. So just six points for Bay Positive No Space, exactly like I was saying. Boom. Nobody's hit that five point mark today. Not quite. No one has. You're right. So, uh, what? who is it? Um, Games Bun. Games Bun. Strong. Yes, indeed. And the Big Steve Award. Uh, what is what is what are we looking at for like eighth place right now? Do we have any idea? Did we have that place. earlier? Yeah, so Emerald Phoenix is in eighth place at the moment with uh, well, it's actually a tie for eighth place between Josh slash Josh uh, from Team Fire and Emerald Phoenix, uh, who also has six points. Okay, so we're over um, a seven point pack to really get into eighth point at the moment, eighth place at the moment, but very subject to change based on high scores. Yes, 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 indeed. Yeah. So I think we'll see some some more shifting. Well, actually, about. it's even less than that because not Lauren is in first place with 26,000. So everything's off. Everything's off. Anyway, if only we had a live updating uh, scoreboard, that'd be amazing. Next up, we have Andriana. Andriana. Coming off a three-point season. Boy, Andriana is hoping for something big. She's up a three-point season, and after that, but, no, never mind, okay. I, was, I, thought, we should, I thought she was on back-to-back three-point seasons, which would have meant three one-point packs. Oh my but gosh. no, there was an 18-point pack in there. My and, bad. Okay, so we're all good. We got Spoink! Spoink! My boy Spoink! Uh, we got Drillbur. Drillbur uh, coming out of nowhere all Ka of a sudden. Caspa Kid, Lanoon, uh, Darmanchan, Darmanitan, Dartrix, Armor Rouge, Armor Rouge, uh, Town Store, and the Entei. The Entei! Entei. Boy, Ben's new favorite line of Pokemon is obviously Darumaka and Darmanite. I'm yeah, no, I'm not a fan <laughs> at all. Not one, not one bit. Not one bit. I, you know, I'm doing my best over here, but as per always, when you have any good show on the internet, one person knows what they're talking about, and the other is just lucky to be there. Oh man, you know, one of my favorite memes. And that's you. One of, my, <laughs> one of my favorite memes on the internet right now is uh, whatever you. It's like the, in every family or in every in every marriage, there's someone who grew up in a family that skis and someone who married it. <laughs> it's like someone carving and then someone just like <laughs> flopping down the mountain. It's, so, it's like it's so true. It's so true. It's so true. That's our wives. Yeah, it yeah. is indeed. Yeah. Sorry, guys. All right, uh, next up is Chrysara. <laughs> I was laughing at my own joke on the, on the paper, who probably has blades for hands. So let's see, if you imagine something like this, like the Scyther right here. Yeah, that's basically what Chrysara looks like. That's their day to day life. And hopefully I only want to pull a, a Scyther for Chrysara right here. Let's do it. Or maybe the Scizor, that'd be amazing. 
Let's see. Bam, the dark teardrop. Doesn't matter, it's not Scyther. Barboach, Lechonk, Tadbulb, Glimmit, Excadrill, Pidgeotto, Dragonair, Capsicid, Varum, and Darkrai. So no oh, Scyther. Darn. Real bummer. Just yeah. just three points just to three. You know, bring back home. Ugh. Carry home with your blade hands. <laughs> indeed, indeed. Don't cut yourself. It feels gonna be so hard to hold three points with blades for hands. It'd be yeah, like like where like the right, third one always wants to like fall so, off right, onto the ground. Right. You gotta like skewer them. Yeah, exactly. 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 Just like that. All right. Well, next up we have a kitten ninja. Who favorite comes? Pokemon is Charizard. So this would be a great time to pull your favorite Pokemon. This would be a good day for that. I'm just gonna yes. put it out there. It can be generally agreed upon that that would be a fantastic outcome. Oh, especially given this. Especially given time this. to rock pummel not Lauren. Right, right. Let's see. So we're about to see if Kitten Ninja is about to evolve into Cat Pirate. Yeah. <laughs> you see what yes, I did? Yeah. Okay, that okay, uh, lamp pin. We got the Togepi, the Lechomp, the Gramble, the Malamar, the Grumpig. Man, if only Eyeball Energy. The Meltan, the Clefairy, and the, the Giga. Goodness Boy, gracious. Boy, just a two point pack. There was so much promise in there. No, it's just it, like, let's see, 188, just for, just for curiosity's sake. Let's see if there's anything interesting to be had there. 24 cents. So really, the Gita doesn't do a whole lot of favors for anyone, See ya. unfortunately. Geet out! Ha! I got it. Hilarious. <laughs> All right, next up we have Stacy. All right, how is Stacy going to do for us today? Coming off of a four point season. You got this, Stace. You, you got, got it. it. You got it. Let's see it. Rocket to the top. Lightning Mortal Energy, Charmander, Young Goose, Litwick. Oh, nope. Nope. La Look, these two keep coming together. I know, they do, That's which is so, so weird. weird. Yeah. What are the odds? Lanoon, the Carvana, and the Oddish, and the Scovelin. Man. Nothing. Just one point. What's the Scovelin worth? Let's see, number 25 on the set. That's a front page of 14 cents. Wow, so it's actually a tie for Last place. It is in fact a tie for last place. Well, there you go. That's that's something, I suppose. At some point in time, we're gonna have enough people who are all simultaneously like tied for that 14 cent last place that we're just gonna be able to like divvy up a single ETB and send, yeah. send one pack to everybody. There you go, you all, you all share it. One single dice, yeah. There you go. We'll, we'll think of something. All right, Ben, next up is Doe, mother of last season's champion, Chase. Yes, indeed. Uh, Doe is also one of our mods over yeah. on Discord. This is our first mod of the season. I believe so, I All believe right. so. I think Data Rage is also inside of this set as well. Though. Okay. All right, Doe, let's see what we got here. We got the uh, the Metal Energy. Right, so no no type advantage. Advantage. The Snubble, the Bronzor, the Gloom, the Lampant, the Frogadier, the Stunfisk yes. will score, the Salazzle, the Cleffa, kind of cute, uh, Wolt score though, the Ninetales Wolt score, and the Thunderous. Mm, just two oh, points for Doe. And the Mod Curse. I swear, I think we are missing, we're, we're like, I mean, we had the Charizard today for not Lauren. Yeah. Um, but I feel like there, there still has to be some other like potential hiding inside of this box. I know, know, it really does seem like that. We had that Ice Q as well, which was like, a, a, like you, you have to imagine from the Pokemon Company's point of view, it was a rare card to put in the box, but like the value just not there. Just, you know. Just, <laughs> It's no Pidgeot base, you know? <laughs> Come on. The day's just not over it. I, I don't know how, I still, I don't know. Anyway, next up, Ben, maybe this is a contender for not Lauren, it's Lauren B. Lauren B. From, from The Bachelor. From from Team Electric, Lauren B. Coming in, I mean, Lauren B. Been putting the, up numbers. From the beginning, yeah. a very consistent performer. We got the Salad Energy. Swablu, Oddish, Dratini, Charmander, Amoongus, Armor Rouge, Arbeliva, Togetic, Toad Scroll, Skull, do oh, Double Toad Scroll. That's oh, funny. How about that? Is it? But wow. it's not. But it's not a. Uh, it's not no, a critical like or anything. Nothing so, like let's that. See. Yeah. Uh, so number twenty-two on the set. They let's put think this Toad Scroll in so many sets. I, I feel know. Like. I know. Keep so, with it. Dollar forty-two for that Toad Scroll. So two points, three points. Three points there for Lauren B. Man, so not Lauren, just totally flexing on, on an actual Lauren B. As a rookie. I know, I know, yes. man. It's like, it's it's uh, Q Q Han Solo saying, "Don't get cocky, kid." Right. Great kid. Don't get cocky. Do you think he played it? Probably. Surely he did. Yeah. Yeah. Am I up? Yes. Okay. All right. Next up, we've got Moss Twig. The mossiest. I'm feeling a salad energy out of this you one. Think so? Wouldn't we just have salad energy? Well, you know, maybe that's why I'm calling it. Who knows? Okay. All right. Good luck. We'll see. Let's see. Let's see. All right. Oh, fireball. Fireball. Man. Not what Moss wants to see, unfortunately. We've got the Grievard, the Toka Tomorrow, the Mawile. Oh, the other Mawile's the one that scores. Yeah, that's right. The New Mal, the Belly Bolt, the Trevenant, the Electros. The Darmanitan. Ben's favorite Darmanitan. Darmanitan. It's more like darn 
Darn man, it's Dan. <laughs> Darn man, it Dan. <laughs> anyway, uh, the Swablu and the Scovelin. Scovelin, which so, is another 14. It, so this is another last place tie. It is indeed just the one point. What like, is happening? I don't know, Jay. I just don't know. Some I don't know. All I can assume is that the next person to open a pack, who is my current favorite person inside of the game, can be the one, the only Goddess Princess. As it were. Everyone knows were. Goddess Princess is all about that narrative, you know? Goddess Princess truly is though. I mean, like if, if there were to ever be someone who could find themselves on so many different places on the scoreboard, it's Goddess yeah. Princess. They're, they're living more for the narrative. And, they are, they are, yes. People watch for the drama, this is where it is. We'll see. Pidgey, Fungus, Larvesta, Finizen, Darmanitan, wow. Dartrix, Frogadier, LeChonk, Salandit. Oh the, my god! No. Oh, oh my god! But you know what? You know what? As ever with Goddess Princess, tied for last place. Wait, Always yeah. on the podium in some way. Oh, I don't know it? how she does it. It is unbelievable. unbelievable. It is unbelievable. There you go. Well, they've done it again. They've done it again. Well done, well done, all right. Next up we have another Rookie of the Day, it's Christina. All right, Christina. Yeah, basically what you're gonna need to do, Christina, is pull the other Charizard if you wanna go to the Olive Garden, okay? <laughs> like, ask yourself this, how bad? How bad do you want them breadsticks? Pretty bad, maybe. Depends. Also, also that would probably mean you win. Also not a bad, not a bad time to, yeah. Let's see, let's see. We're in the middle of the box. Sometimes it feels like there's middle of the box magic. Let's but see though. If you pulled a box, if you got the gold Charizard and the illustrated Charizard out of the same box, that'd be so good. It would be superb. Yeah. Superb to say the least. We got the Togepi, the Lechonk, the Grievard, the Toga tomorrow, the Wog Trio, the Kangaskhan, the Wishcast, the Diglett, oh. the Togekiss will score, and the Glamora. I think it's two points for the Glamora. Two points at well, least. Let's well, at see. least whatever else it's worth. That's a good catch though. Number 123 on the set is worth a dollar twenty-two. So actually three points for the Glamora. It's a dollar twenty-two. Yes. Okay, so yeah, two, three, four, five, six. I think this is another instance where the other Glamora was worth less. What is going on in Obsidian Flames? Yeah, look, Glamora EX, ultra rare, only worth 83 cents. Why? I don't know. I'm angry at this set. Nothing makes sense, up is down. I don't think you're heading to the Olive Garden is the point, but you were closer than you thought. Lady Starlight, our next contestant on the day. About they had, on time. They had a six point season last time. Okay, All okay, right. so they, they look at Christina and they say, I see your six point season. I've been there, I've done that. I've been that, now I'm, this is what I'm doing. Metal Energy, Young Goose, Litwick, Pidgey, Fungus, Chandelure, Stargrunt, Altaria, the Combi, the Wug Trio. One point is what they're doing. Thunderous, what is this one worth? Give me the number, let's see, number 70 on the set. We'll take a peek. 21 cents, way too commanding for last Way place. too good. Thunderous is just too powerful, I'm afraid, for last place. Ugh, it's a real bummer, it's a real bummer. All right, next, oh gosh. All right, next up we have Lauren. Uh, the, uh, yeah, okay, so now we've had <laughs> not Lauren, Lauren B and Lauren. Wow, there's a lot of, yeah, so many Laurens on this particular one. This is like Lauren original, I guess. Or original Classic Lauren. Lauren. Cla yeah, yeah, as it were. Yeah, I'm gonna write that under here, just so we know. Just so we know, classic Lauren. Yes, classic Lauren, there it is, uh, who came out of last season with just two points. So let's see, can they beat not Lauren? We're about to find out. We got the Salad Energy, the Tadmold, the Sinistee, the Pawniard, the Charcadet, the Flamigo, the Bronzong, the Bear Tick, the... Yeah, you got it. So last oh, the Scizor! Oh, there we go! Amazing! You know what? You're a winner no matter what when you pull a Scizor like that. No matter what. Man, I think this one in particular, we opened so many, we did not get this one. Um, our friend Jake the Viking, however, just gave me his copy. So thank you to Jake, wherever there you go. are. There we go, that's amazing. Yeah. So we have um, Scizor is gonna be worth $3.05. We'll round up to four, five, five on that Toxtricity. So well done. So in, in Big Steve contention, however, we already know that we can roll it out because that Scizor is gonna basically just put, like way too powerful. Way again. too powerful. I mean, as Scizor does. As Scizor does. Right, you're staring at this thing, suddenly it turns red, it, glow, it gets met metallic. 
man. Do they, you know do they have like a cool evolution for my for my? They don't. Fiero at this point is amongst like five Pokemon left in all of Gen One that they have not touched at all, and it is becoming embarrassing, really. Or for them, may, maybe, maybe just Fiero was already perfect. They were like, "How do you improve?" I know they're just on like something that is as glorious, right? As some some interns walking in a game freak, and they're like, "Guys, I think it's time we do Fiero," and they all just throw their smoothies at him. They're like, "It's perfect." <laughs> Get it? What do you not understand? <laughs> and then they like wipe off all the smoothie and they're like, I see it now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. You're right. The perfect Pokemon. The perfect mod. Someday. Someday. Bam. Oh, the rock is pummeling though for uh, Alex. Alex. With an I. All right. Can we can we capitalize is the question. The Rowlet, the Diglett's a good start. They call me the Stun Fist, Fist is wow. good. We're doing great. So doing the the Brawler! Oh, the, the Grover! The Togekiss! Wow! So it's gonna be a 10 point pack, it a looks like. A 10 point pack, wow. Yeah. Well done. Pretty solid. Did capitalize on the Rockus Pummeling. Uh, not necessarily going to get them on the podium, but it's just good points for Water again, who's having I, a great season. They are having a great season. There you go. I feel like that's gotta put you at least in the top. Yeah, top, ten, definitely in the top ten. Top ten overall. So yeah. how many other waters are already up there? I One, think, two, three, four. Well, maybe maybe top five even. Yeah. Well, that's pretty good. So maybe it is contributing to you getting a pin, provided that you know grass doesn't come surging back. But you just never know. You, you never, never know. know. Yeah. yeah. I mean, they haven't had a great day today or last week either, though. So that's true. Next up, we have Jess, the Jess, the Jess, like the one, the only, the, the Jess, one, the the Jess. Yes, who, yeah, yes, indeed. Came in. Mm -hmm. I thought so. I thought I thought I could like feel it in the air a little bit. You the know, hobby, like... well, yes, hobby aquarist and road cyclist, and obviously Pokemon card collector. So you know, Jess, it sounds like we'd all, it sounds like we'd get along. We would have something to talk about, almost yeah, certainly. Yeah, we met you in person. There's water. We got the water. We got the mall wild. Other still the wrong, wrong one. We haven't pulled the Toad School either. I know that's so weird. What's going on? I don't know. We got the Tadpole, the Sinistee, the Floatzel, the Umbreon, the Lapras, the Altaria. We'll not score. The Steenie will not score. And the the side, Scizor. There we go. So 141, let's just take a peek just for fun. It's a victory no matter what, obviously, because you got a scissor. Let's see, 141, 22 cents. 22 yeah. cents. Yeah. Impressive, impressive. Not last place impressive, but like you impressive know. nonetheless. Nonetheless, you can be like, I pulled a scissor, so it's all great. Way to go, Jess. Yeah. There we go. Next up is Jacob Virginus. All right, Jacob Virginus. Here we go. <clears throat> Can we pull something big? How they do last season? They did just three points last three season. Points. So look at look into look into up the ante. It says they love bit. stargazing, so it'd be great if they could pull that cool Cleffa card. Oh yeah, that would be oh that would be a good oh, one. It would. Ball toy. Rowlet. The Mawile shows its face. This Boofa one I don't think we've seen yet. Yeah, I don't think so either. Abominable. Boon Sweet. Frog a deer and Scizor again. What? This this is like the day of the scissor. Love it, love it. We have Mawlock, Revominable. So three so points. Three points overall. There we go. So back to back three point packs for uh, yes. for Jacob Virginis. There you go. Ba Bam, all right, next up we have got EK Sko. Nailed it. Like though. Nailed it. There it is, all right. They are also coming off of a three point season, but they're playing for water and water has got the hot hand right now, as it were. <laughs> oh man, I was like, I hope he gets it wrong. <laughs> I, I, don't, I, I said, I hope he gets it right wrong. Yeah, like, like you know, got it wrong. I don't even know what I want him to do, but it's hilarious either way. We got the Toxel, the Lillipop, the Heatmore. Yeah? Yeah, Heatmore. Timpole, Charmeleon, it's kind of a fun Charmeleon. The Exadrill, the Pidgeotto, the Mawile, the wrong, the wrong one. Oh, the right Mawile. Oh, the, yeah, they are different. Okay, so that'll score. And then the, and the, the Gita, Gita so, so just two points. Two points there for old EK Sko. Well done either which way. Enjoy oh. that Gita. Yep. Get out of here. <laughs> oh man, you have, yeah. Nice, nice. All right, next up is Dom from Fast and the Furious fame. I hope that because you did it before, Ethan will now go and add like a really nice laugh track for when you did it the first time, and then like a, like a slightly sadder laugh track the second time. So like the first time people are like, yeah! yeah. And you do it again, they're like, yeah. Man, yeah. Now we need, we need like a third time to like really bring it back. Yes, like, yeah. oh, now it's a thing. <sighs> 
Yeah, I need to be saved by another Gita. Here we go, Grass Energy. The Houndor will score, the Toad School will score. Eevee, Magnemite, Kangaskhan, Wishcash, Floatzel. Oh, the Claydol will score. score, the New Mill won't, and the Toxtricity will. That's a five point pack. Kind of out of nowhere. Pulling a little bit out of everything. So. Even with the two worst cards you can get. <laughs> okay, so now this one's interesting because this is a five point pack. So we're talking about Big Steve potential. Oh. And none of these are that valuable. So have, oh, but there are two. Rare there's cards. two. So this adds up we know to 28 cents which is actually too much i believe to pass gear to uh get underneath that one ente right yes well so games bun has 24 cents right and total for total rare card value right so these two will add up 14 and 14 28 cents oh so my god very close for dom but so not quite gonna get into big steve territory man foiled by the clay doll dang wow. the clay doll strikes again how about that what do you know? There we go. Okay. Okay. Next up, we have got Christina Bierce. All right. Let's see it. Only their second pack ever inside of the game. I had an eight point pack last season. Not too bad to start out. It's kind of interesting because last season, Christina, oh, oh there we go. Here we, we go. It's time to fight. We had a, we had a, um, a, this, Christina last season would have been a rookie. And today we've had a Christina rookie. Oh, wow. So it's kind of interesting, but on their respective debuts, Today's Christina did six points, whereas this Christina did eight points. Okay. So I like to think that we now have the Battle of the Christinas. Okay. All right, so we got the we got the raucous pummeling, so good start. The Pontiard, the Charcadet, the Toxel, the Lillipop, the Masquerade, the Gumshoes. Pupa the Scores. It will indeed. The Camera will not. The Rowlet will not. Oh, and the, the Palafin. Palafin. Wow, just gonna be a four point pack there. Damn. We haven't really had many critical hits today. I feel like we had a bunch last week. I know it's it's so unusual how those seem to like sort of like come and go. Mm -hmm. But I, I do love that particular mechanic because it is so strange to me that like inside of a booster pack with so many available cards, there end up being doubles. Right? Yeah, it's really weird. Um, I think did we once get the double critical hit? We did. I believe we have. Yeah, it can happen. It can happen. Very unusual, but it's there. All right, next up is another power couple. It's Aaron and Tony. They both collected kids, didn't know how to play, and this is their first time collecting cards in 20 years. Wow. Ba Boom. Do you guys know how to play now? That's the real question. Yeah, are you playing now? Probably you are. Well, here's some new cards to play with. Uh, let's see, do we get a Rockus Pumbling? No, we get a Lightning Bolt, but we do have a Diglet. The Colby, the Houndor, the Toad, Toad School. School. That's there we go. Two. King Gambit, Oink Alone, Letter of Encouragement, Rhyme. Tad bulb and the Ente. So that's gonna be one, two, three, four, five. Five points for Aaron and Tony. Oh, but wait. Oh, wait. And what? it's a tie. Because they have the Ente. That's going to be the rare card value. <gasps> Ooh, we have a tie for the Big Steve Award now. Okay, we're going to write that down. Oh, man. Okay, so this is an interesting question because they did it with fewer cards. How does that... Well, it's still just the rare card value. It is though. just the rare... I know, I'm just saying yeah. like if, if we're trying to like look for anything else to look at. Because mm -hmm. when Games Bund did it, they had five cards each worth one point. This is four cards, but the Toad School is doing a heavy lifting, which doesn't work against right. their total rare card value. Oh my gosh. But it's still possible that someone else gets five with even less money. That is you also know. true. That is also true. Okay, so now we're gonna have to keep an eye on this because now we've got Games Bond and who else? I'm sorry, Aaron and Tony. And Aaron and Tony going for that Big Steve Award. Wow. All right, the game is the foot. Man, who'd have thought? Who'd have thought? Ente. The battle rage is on. Next up, we've got Tina Doge. Tina Doge. Who is coming off a one-point season themselves. They, it looks like they had a very unfortunate one-point season with 99 cents. Oh so. my gosh, what a gosh. terrible rounding error. Yeah. All right, so we got the Fireball Energy for someone from Team Fire. We got the Magneton, the Bisharp, the Shuckle, the Wiglet, the Dragonair, the Armor Rouge, the Ortega, the Sizer. Sucker. The Barboach will score in the, the end is back. Man. Wow, there it is. There's going to be just another two points there. So, you know, twice as good as last season, Tina. There we go. Well done. And well you done. got a Scyther. Yes, yes, enjoy. There, there you, you go. go. Next up, we have got Xander coming off a six point season, playing for Team Fire, plays guitar, flute, and piano. Okay, okay. Yeah. Let's see. How is Team Fire? So, Team Fire was in second overall coming into today. I'm curious. I mean, Team Water just feels like they're putting such a commanding push forward. Fire by fire, here we go. Okay. Larvitar, Electric, Salandit, Varum, Umbreon, Lapras, Masquerade, Magnezone, Squabbit, and Gita! Oh man, get out of here. <laughs> <laughs> Two points. <laughs> Two 
Did you hear I said it again? <laughs> I heard you. I heard you. Yeah. That, uh, honestly, you asking was probably funnier than the, the whole bit the whole time. So, <laughs> well done. Thank well, you. <laughs> Next up, we've got John Borg. John Borg! Long time player, been here since the beginning. Uh, you love to see that. John Borg has put up nine point seasons on three separate occasions. What is John Borg doing over there? I don't even know, but possibly it could happen again today. We're about to find out. We got the Metal Energy, the Heat More, the Tim Pole, the Magneton, the Bi Sharp, the Toga Dick, the Nine Tails, the Poltergeist, the EV will not score, the Winkleone will not score, and the, the Scoblin is going to be just a single point. And that one, I believe, is worth more than. Let's double Maybe. check it just yeah. for certainty uh, for More number 25 cents. cents. No, it is 14 cents. Oh, wow, there you go. You're tied for last place, John Borg. There we go. Way to go, John Borg. Man, this if is If not insane. nine points, may as well be tied for last. Exactly, exactly. All right, next up we have got Bride Liv, the arch nemesis of Dylan Clark. Oh. Yeah, let's see. This is another one of our power couples today, Ben. They are coming in uh, off of a three-point season. Okay, okay. 17 before that, so that's pretty solid. Get that out of here. Bam, water, energy, Eevee, Magnemite, Larva, Carl, Score, Chandelure, Patrol Cat, The Blossom, Larva, oh wait. Oh, look, the Clefa! Oh, Clefa! It returns. And the Scoville. And Scoville. And oh my gosh. Who was our Stargazer from before? I'm, I, I hate that they that they missed out and on now it. It was in there for them to get. Yes, it was indeed. Like, <coughs> what was that number I'm so That is going to be 202. 202. And no. Okay, so the Clefo comes in at five dollars twenty-four cents. There's a six, seven, eight. Eight points. Eight points. Not too bad. Oh my gosh! And for Team Water once again, I, I feel like they they came into the season and they were like, "Listen, we know that we don't have type advantage over grass, but it doesn't matter. We can no. do this. You don't need to. You can drown plants with water. Come on. That That's happens true. in my house all the time. <laughs> Guess who's not good with plants? No, my plants are doing okay. okay. Right. Yeah, you know. Next up, we have Crafty Chick. Crafty Chick. Let's see it. What's your favorite plant? What's my favorite plant? Yeah. I don't know. I've never asked you that before. <laughs> Scyther. Mm -hmm. What? Scyther. Did you say Scyther? He's a, he's a plant type, right? No, he's not. Grass type? He's a bug type. Bug type? Bug flying, yes. Bug flying, bug okay. Flying, yeah. But he is salad, right? I mean, in this game, yes. He's kind of green. Salad, he's he green. Would be odd if he wasn't. You're right, yeah. yeah. In in the card game, he's usually salad. So, so, Scythe is your favorite player. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> That's what I'm hearing. All right, we got the Rock Ruff, which will score right at the game. We got the Rhyme, we got the Glimit, which will score. We got the Herdier, the Ball oh, Man. I feel like maybe. Volcarota. I feel like maybe I saw something peeking out back there. Mm. We got the, bra the Brassius. Yep. Yeah, why not? We got the Wiglet, which will not score. The Finn is in, and oh my gosh, I don't know what Thunderous. I thought I saw. Wow, you got everyone like, excited I know, for I know. nothing. I think I was reflecting the orange lights behind me, and I was it was like giving me like a rather like <clears throat> gold. Mm. I don't know if you guys can see. I don't know. I don't think you can on the overhead camera. It reflects <clears throat> back though. All uh, right, there. there. That's it. That's, That's what, what I was seeing. Had. I was like, oh man, I think there's something gold back there. But instead, it's just the thunderous. So three points. A regular three points four, there. Four crafty chick. I was getting crafty there for you. Whoa! Doing my absolute dark. Last victims. track. All right, next up is Bubsy. We are down to what our last four players of the day. Let's see, how is Bubsy going to do? Bubsy has been around for quite a while here, at least since season three. Nearly since the beginning. Nearly since the beginning. Nearly? How can you be nearly since the beginning? Had a great uh, one, one pack season back in season four with 25 points. That would do some bit some oh. damage. Oh, we got the raucous pummeling. There we go. And here we go. Salandit, Varum, Small, Weasel, Pokemon League Headquarters, Lunatone, Serena, Wooper, Darumaka. Oh, the Pidgeot! Oh, man. What? Oh man, okay. we know this one's good. We know it's good because we've seen it before, but even though we don't. We also, this was exactly what happened last time, Ben. It was the literal raucous pummeling into Pidgeot. It was indeed. So that's yeah. going to be uh, $8.37. We'll round to nine times two is going to be 18. 18 points. So fire answers uh, the call of the water. They do they indeed. They put some points up. Well, grass and electric are just sort of sitting back there like, what do we do? What do we do? Oh, we're going to get those pins. Well, let's see. Next up, we've got Data Rage, another mod over in the SCB Discord server. 
but can she put up points? We know she's pulled big stuff in the past. Well, sort of big stuff. At least the Lugia, I feel like. The, you know, we had time. the Lugia. Well, it was the base Lugia, not like the alt Lugia. Okay, okay, okay. Yeah. All right, let's see. All right, so we got the you got the lightning bolt energy, the shuckle, the wiglet, the rock ruff will score, the rhyme, the toad's rule will score, the sol rock, sol rock. The Houndstone, the Bronzong, mm -hmm. the Bonsly, and, and the Scizor! Yeah. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, and a Scizor! Ha, nice. It rhymed. It did indeed. Yeah. Also, wait, was there a. A rhymed. Ah! <laughs> Nailed it. Clap trap. Nailed it. <laughs> oh, man, we're on fire today, dude. Ethan is like, yo! <laughs> Stop it! Yes! There's already so many things to edit in this show. Oh man, next up is Carly B! Carly B! Not to be confused with Carly Wow. Carly Wow. Or yeah. Carly Ray. Je Jepson? Jepson, Jep yeah. Okay. She yeah. watches. She's a fan. Pro probably. Pro we don't unconfirmed. We don't unconfirmed, but like probably. M maybe. I mean. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't even mean to. Oh man. I didn't even mean to. I, I, still I hope someone really thought that was intentional. Yeah. Anyway, yeah. Magda by Sharp Chuckle. Mawile, Mawile there we score. go. Have we pulled, yeah, we've pulled a list some. Yes, we have. The Stunfist, the Charmander, the Volcarona, and the Toga Kiss, sadly for Carly B. <sighs> Carly B. Red Jepson. There we go. There we go. All right, well, enjoy either which way. Uh, a hard fought three points, as, as they say. There it is. All right. And our final pack of the day. Do we have some last pack magic for our last rookie of the day? Well, oh, wow. They're wow. really hoping we do because they have got quite the deficits to overcome at 26 points. 26 points in our current leader of the show. All right. This is going to be Elara Evergreen. Great name, by the way. Great name. Yeah. Great name. All right. Elara. Let's see. If we were able to pull off some last pack magic, we got mm. the metal energy, okay. we got the small of mm -hmm. the weasel, the whooper, the phantom, the gum shoes, the pupitar will score, the toga tick, the gloom, the clod sire, and the oh, clay doll. Did we end on a clay doll last week too? Goodness, I, I, I think I'm tired did. of this clay doll. This I'm just clay doll tired. is it, the it, worst. It reminds me of the droid that lands in Empire Strikes Back. That's like the, oh, the probe droid. The probe droid. Yeah. Doesn't it look just right, like right, it? Right, right, right. Yeah. yeah, that one. That's the yeah, one. That guy. Um, um, so anyway, we got the got the clay doll. So enjoy that. You know, be excited about it. Maybe frame it. Send us a picture. You yes. know, we'll you know be super excited about Dude, that. Clay doll and Toga Kiss are like just the absolute villains of the season. They are. They're just they everywhere. are indeed. I know. Just just showing up everywhere we don't want them to. But still a fun <laughs> episode to say the least. We have a new leader yes. um, overall, which is going to be rookie not <clears throat> Warren. Warren. Um, Team Water. I don't have the exact numbers in front of me, but almost. I mean, not even almost. Certainly, they have they have pushed their lead forward. I feel like Team Fire had some nice showings today, so yep. I feel like it'll be really interesting to see as we go into the back half of the season because literally. Anything could still happen. I know, right? Like a, a single, uh, the the big Charizard, if we pull it, that'll just immediately surge into first place. Yes, yes, it absolutely yeah. will. So there's there's a lot of potential out there. And if you, in case you missed in the first episode, I think we've pulled how many of them? Six. We have pulled six of the rarest card in this set. Just in house, house. Which never, never ever happens. happens. Yeah. Um, super impressive. But if in the future you would like to see us open a pack for you here on Box Breakers, you can do so by heading on over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming and selecting any of the Box Breakers tiers. And just as a fun reminder, we do have the team competition going on at all times, which means that if your team is triumphant at the end of the season by scoring the most points across your top five competitors, you will also receive a fun commemorative pin. So it's just a lot of fun all the way around. Link in the description down below. But Otherwise, until next time, Hariyama! Hariyama!